what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about scream 7 in this video here today so according to daniel rpk actress isabel may reportedly will be playing the young lead of scream 7 now she's likely playing sid's daughter but that is not confirmed now this again came from daniel rpk who has been right about several things in the past more recently the biggest thing about scream 7 that they've been right about is this time jump that is seemingly becoming more and more evident of an actual thing that will be occurring in the film so isabel may just like many of you i am not that familiar with her but then once i started looking up her resume and saw some familiar pictures of her then i started recognizing that she is in fact from yellowstone or something of the sort i, I believe as well related to yellowstone i i think i don't watch that show there's just people i know who do watch it and i've caught a few episodes and i recall seeing her face somewhere related to yellowstone activity so from what i saw of her she did seem to be a quality actress to have a lot of talent and i don't think this would be a bad get some people i know will already be knocking this saying oh who is she i don't know her again i don't know her either but scream itself the big selling point is not going to be the young cast it can be but the big selling point just like with the other movies is going to be ghostface they lean on ghostface and nostalgia and just you being excited to see one of the most popular horror icons back on the big screen for the seventh time and people talking about it amongst the general public and that's how they will get you into the seat they're not going to really lean in on trying to hype up people who are basically using scream 7 to get a breakout role because that's what this would be for her she's relatively unknown i would say i'm familiar with her only from what i've saw of her on glimpses of yellowstone she apparently was in young sheldon i have not watched young sheldon ever in my life but i don't see her being sydney's daughter that's just my takeaway if i had to guess who she would be she's either going to be chelsea who is described as the heartbreaker of taylor's friend group or she's going to be holly someone i theorized about on sunday who is taylor's rich friend the queen bee of the group so i could see her being holly honestly taylor's rich friend some of you are already commenting that she looks too old to be sydney's daughter but i don't i don't know what to tell you there she more than likely will look different opposed to what images you might be seeing shared online <laughs> she might look way different in the actual movie she might pass for a 17 18 year old just because the image i posted of her doesn't make her look 17 18 doesn't mean that when the movie actually comes out that she won't be a convincing teenager so that is really all I wanted to share when it came to Scream 7. The casting information has yet to be picked up by reputable trade. So again, I will just say this is reported, not confirmed by anyone directly linked to Spyglass, Paramount, or anyone involved with the actual production. But Daniel himself has been right many times in the past. If you start attacking her, all I can say is this. And I'm not talking about those who are not excited for Scream 7. I'm talking about those who just, for whatever reason, are convinced scream is always going to be sydney's house no it's not it's not always going to be sydney's house there are going to be fresh faces that are going to take up the screen time from sydney because at some point nev campbell is not going to be able to continue to come back at sydney prescott so you need to start ushering in younger faces younger talent who can pick up that mantle and carry the franchise into the future we had that with melissa barrera jenna ortega mason gooding jasmine brown they messed that up if they're trying to do the same thing here you don't need to mess this up too i love nev campbell i love sydney prescott i just don't see why we have this narrative of only of the only person who should ever lead scream is sydney no she shouldn't it's completely against what the character is working towards i've stated this ad nauseum peace she should not be leading every screen movie nor should the should the sight of some unknown actress elicit whatever reactions that i know are going to come inevitably but i just i just always find those people to be quite interesting you're upset because someone is taking the spotlight away from sydney prescott you don't think you want to maybe go see a therapist instead <laughs> just whatever man we'll see what comes of this are you guys familiar with isabel may let me know why or why not down in the comment section below what do you think about this reported news do you think this is an exciting bit of information do you think this would be a detriment if you're familiar with her and maybe you don't find her acting to be all that great again from what i saw of her on yellowstone she didn't seem that bad so we'll see what comes of this i again will stress that when it comes to filming while the rumored and 
reported source news from insiders indicates that we'll be shooting in January. We still have not had that come specifically from anyone associated with production. All signs for them. The last thing we heard would point to December, which is next month, because I'm hearing that the casting is pretty much locked. If not, they maybe have one or two more people to get on board. So we should be getting a lot of news sooner rather than later. And of course, if this starts getting picked up by reputable trades, that just means that, of course, at that point is official that Isabel May has been cast in Scream 7. And we'll probably find out what role it'll be when the news drops from those trades. But my guess would be she's going to be Holly or Chelsea. I just don't buy her as Sydney's daughter. I don't buy her as Sydney's daughter. And I think what's taking that away is the idea of McKenna Grace being Taylor. And McKenna Grace right now, to me, just seems very ideal for that role not to say that it can only be her but i would rather you find someone else isabel just strikes me as a holly something about her just screams queen bee and the queen bee narrative itself about holly i would hope is treated in the vein of an allison de Laurentiis. that's why i presented it in the way that i did on sunday in my theory video of having holly be the opening kill the queen bee of the group being the opening kill and you can treat it as the allison de Laurentiis of the town she's died we're trying to find out who killed her of course we know it's ghostface but who's ghostface this time link it all to her group of friends taylor sydney's daughter all of that good stuff i would love to see something like that and looking at isabel her pictures the image gives off to me you could be a queen bee of a friend group you could be rich you have that vibe. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to seeing Isabel May in Scream 7? Why or why not? And yes, it is quite ironic that something of casting news happens to be happens to be coming out around the same time of the one year anniversary of Melissa Barrera, unfortunately being fired from the project. I just also find that ironic because I know plenty of you pointed that out to me and you're not wrong. So now, now it has me wondering what else will we get this month or what, what else will we get on that day? Because your project was completely derailed ever since you made that unfortunate decision, which I again have yet to see anyone justify that it was justified outside of you just not liking Melissa Barrera and you don't have to like her but like I stated before not liking someone doesn't mean that I need to now lie on their name and co-sign things that again don't seem to be true but whatever <laughs> if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video